It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I am so excited about this weekend's vlog. I have decided to make it a full decorate with me. We're gonna do the house in one foul swoop all this weekend, and I'm gonna take you along on that journey. It's going to be a blast, and I'm super excited. I will have a separate mantle video that will come your way, but this weekend is all about getting the house decked out for Christmas, so. Yeah, I'm super excited. I do have some very specific, if this is your first time decorating videos, I'll leave them linked below from previous years where I take you through step by step of doing the tree and all of those. But I'll also try to share those tips throughout this video. So let's go ahead and get started. We have our old man already guarding the tree. Good morning, bubs. Good morning, sunshines. Hi. Hi, look at that tail going. Look at that tail going. He's a good boy. Oh, your tree is up. All right. So this is where we have landed on putting our tree the last three years. It used to go over in that corner. But when I finally decided like, hey, I don't think it will interfere in pathways too much to put it in this section of the house. I fell in love with it because you can enjoy it from the kitchen, the living room, the breakfast nook. You see it in the entryway. It's the first thing you see when you come down the stairs. It's just the perfect location. This is a 10 foot balsam hill tree. In normal years, I put extra lights on it, but this year with a more natural element, I'm just leaving the, the pre-lit lights on. This tree is old. I've now had it. Mm, it's probably not old, but it's probably like five to six years old. I've never once had an issue with a limb, with a light, nothing. It is amazing. It's so great. A couple tips I'll share with you. As you put on each section, first of all, wear gloves and go around and fluff the branches section by section. Do not put it all together and then fluff your branches. Put on the base layer first, fluff all of those. That way you can really get all the way inside. Once it's all together, it's so much harder to reach in and see. Then what I do is I kind of just let it sit for a little bit so I can walk around it a bunch before I start decorating it. So I put this up around 4 a.m. I was done by like five with fluffing it at all. And now it's going on nine and I've walked around it a couple times throughout the morning and just been like, oh, that branch needs to move or I can see the post there and I've just fiddled with it. But now I feel really happy with where it is and where I've situated all the branches. So I'm feeling, feeling good. A lot of you are going to ask where my tree skirt is. It is really hard to find tree bases like this that are large enough for 10 foot trees. This one is from, I think the Amish Basket Company. I'll leave them linked below. Their shipping was amazing. The product is incredible and it even gets larger than that. I'm gonna go and try to dig out a couple more picks that I wanna work with. But then we're gonna get the tree decorated and then worry about the rest of the house. And I have a vision for it. Once again, we're not overdoing it this year. It's gonna be simple and natural with lots of greenery. There are a handful of things I won't be able to do this weekend, like my island because I ordered a piece for it and I won't be able to get that done because it's not delivered yet, but maybe it'll come this weekend. All right, I am going to go gather up a couple more things for the tree. So we are in the car, Steven's with me. Well, Steven's driving and we are on our way for a quick, oh goodness, we're on our way for a walk because I need more leaves for the tree. This old man in the back needs his walk anyway, so it's a perfect decor slash family walk slash necessity for Bubby. So we are going to go get leaves and whatever other things in nature I can find. I have a bag with me. I used all the leaves I collected between my garland and my dining room tree. Um, I have a few more down drying, um, but I need some more. I won't be able to put those on the tree though until tomorrow. I'll have to lay them out tonight, let them dry out. It might even take more than that because we had a heavy frost last night and they might be really damp. So going to collect some leaves. It's also better to collect them when they're damp versus when they are already dry on the ground because they won't crumble or anything and I can dry them the way I want. So that's what we're doing right now. Steven and I are having an argument because I want to listen to Christmas music. He does not. But 
I'll show you who won. We are currently listening to Kelly Clarkson's new Christmas album and Steven is thrilled about it. We are back from our walk. I had a hat on, so this is what my hair looks like right now. It is what it is. Um, we are back from our walk. Steven went to run some errands. I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. Um, I gathered all my picks that I'm using. I bought all my picks from A Floral, and then some I picked up at Michael's. I'll show you the, which ones I picked up where. So let me spin you around. These are just the paper mache ornaments. I bought them in a huge box, I think of 50, from some online store. <laughs> I will go back and try to find them as well. These velvet ornaments from Studio McGee are no longer available. They're sold out, you cannot find them anywhere. The bells I got on Amazon, I'll link those. These are some old ornaments that I've had on my tree for many years, actually. Uh, I don't know, maybe the first year of Vlogmas I had these like mercury glass vibe going on. These were a splurge this year. I love them though. They are from Anthropology. They are that famous mirror from Anthropology, and I am not removing the film until I get them in place. Next thing is are the picks. So I got these from a floral. They're like a cedar, and then my willow branches and this vine I got at Michaels because I want to make sure I connect the vines in here, and then those pods that are dried are also from Michaels. Then on our walk, my goal is to get as many leaves as possible, a couple for other garlands that I'll be making. So I have these all drying on the table. So we're gonna get started with decorating the tree. And the way I'm going to do it this year are start with my largest ornaments first, which are definitely these mercury glass ones. My goal is to get those as deep into the tree as possible to fill in some holes. I do not want any of the large ornaments really on the perimeter of the tree, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I got a couple in here. I wanna share a couple of my tips with you. So once I place the ornament, I then move all the branches around it so no branch is touching the ornament so it can hang really naturally. Then what helps you fill out your tree, say I tuck this one up where it's a little narrower, I literally took the other two branches and spread them even further apart. I think when you're arranging your tree, you're trying to get it so even, but that ornament fills that negative space so you can move those branches to a new section of the tree and fill it out more. But as you can see that none of them are really resting on the perimeter end branch, I'm really getting them deep. Two reasons, those are glass ornaments and they're very heavy, so I need the thicker branches, but also you don't want a bunch of large ornaments on the perimeter of your tree. Let the smaller, more decorative ones stand out and use these just to add some texture and depth to it. Now I'm gonna work with my flocked ornaments, these velvet ones from Studio McGee. I'm going to put the smaller ones in the top of the tree, these in the middle, the last larger ones towards the base. All right, now you can see I got the velvet flocked ornament on the outside, the smaller ones at the top. I'm actually really happy with the balance. Next ornament I'm going to put on is another accent ornament that I want to really shine and have a great place on the tree, and those are these anthropology mirrors. They're also going to reflect a lot of light. And then I will put on these paper mache balls. Those will be more of like a filler. Then I'll probably put all my gold bells on the perimeter, and then I'll go in with all of my picks over here. So I'm gonna get these situated in the tree now. Okay, the mirrors are my favorite ornament I've ever bought. Look how beautiful and reflective they are in this tree. They just add like, oh, they add movement because you catch movement. And I'm just in love with like the little touch of detail they add. All right, I am going to now add in these paper mache ornaments just to fill in space. I hate saying this every year, but this tree is my favorite. It's so subdued and yet just so beautiful. So I filled in all these extra spaces with the paper mache and now on the perimeter of the tree, I wanna go with a ton of bells. They are antiqued brass, so I'm just going to fill in the perimeter. Those will not get tucked in deep into the tree. I really want that to glisten. I'm not using ribbon 
or anything that really has a lot of shine to it. So this is where my sparkle and shine will come in on my tree. I feel like these little bells that I added with the cone shape and all the tarnishing are like the little jewelry or earrings that this tree needed. I don't think it being on camera gives you justice because you cannot see the texture and the color. In person, it is stunning. But now we get to do picks. And I'll probably work with the ones I have the fewest of, which are my pods. Then I will go to pine cones. Then I'll go to cedar branches. And then I'll accent with my vines and branches at the end. It's really great. Stephen was <laughs> Stephen went shopping for some dress clothes and also brought me back a sandwich from my favorite place. So I might actually eat a little breakfast before I do the rest. I have never created a prettier tree than this one. I have all the vines in now. It's it's so beautiful and then tomorrow once all these other leaves dry I'm not using all of these, but I'll be embedding some of those into the tree. I was able to add a bunch of the leaves because they dried so quickly. I just tucked them in. I love when they are curled like that because they add so much texture. Some I grouped and then others I laid out by themselves. And then I was able to find a few branches that still had all the leaves connected. So this is kind of the finished look. I think it's just stunning. All right, now we're going to start the entryway. These garlands are new, they're from A Floral. I also have some A Floral garlands getting delivered today. They're expensive. The one thing I'm gonna tell you right now is I've already had, I think you might freak out because you'll see a couple picks on the floor. They're wired in so I can really tuck them back in. I'm not too worried about it. Now if I have a lot more issues with it then I think I'll feel different, but I love them. They actually have like natural twigs wired in them. They look so real. I'm actually changing my design for this a little bit. I originally thought I was going to drape something the whole way across the top, but I think I'm going to change that and just do a swag draping over the table. But to do that, I am going to end up moving this table a little down this way, just so I can get it nicely centered on this beam of bead and bo um, board and batten. I kind of really love how this feels and looks. I was originally going to run it and then hang bells. I might just do one cluster of bells down the center, but this feels really simplistic and kind of what I wanted it to feel like, so pretty happy right now. I know I'll be asked how I'm hanging this. I use little tiny finishing nails and florist wire, and I know people are like, well, you don't wanna pound into the woodwork. For me, it's worth it. It secures it the best. I putty over it, the holes are so small, and then just paint over it, you never know. I've done that on almost all of my moldings over the holidays, and I've never once regretted it or have really noticed it afterwards or had any issues. I do love how natural, look at this garland. It literally looks like I bought live garland and have it here and I just think it connects so beautifully to like the really natural element of the tree. So I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna bring up the bells that I'm thinking of working with for this and see how it turns out. This is what I have so far. I draped my third piece just down here below the table. I kind of really love the vibe. I just did one cluster of bells and then hung some of the ones from the tree that I've used on this tree in here as well onto this garland. I'm not going to light it this year because we put in an outlet here and I have a plug and a lamp. So that will add some light. I am going to do a little bit more accessorizing, but it feels really nice when you look in besides all the catch, all that's right there. All right, let me see what I wanna style this with. I might think about grabbing some of the little leaves that I grabbed to put into the garland, but I just don't know, I don't know how I feel about them. I'm gonna play, let me see what I can come up with. All right, and here is the styled entryway. 
So I just added the bells into the garland so it echoes what's happening on the trees. I had some leaf in this one cedar that I draped, three vintage candlesticks from Goodwill, but it's different from what I went in thinking I was doing. But the more I thought about it, I thought this would just be stunning. I also just threw in a blanket that ties in another one of my colors from into the leaves into this. It's, <laughs> this is my favorite Christmas. Didn't take you along for the ride of this because it really was so simple. So this is the pantry for Christmas. I just used a uh, McGee & Co garland that I used above my kitchen sink last year. And then paper mache craft trees. And then once again, put just five leaves into the garland. But that's how the pantry looks. Simple, beautiful, elegant. All right, friends, I don't feel like I got as much done as I wanted to. But on the other hand, I feel like I did okay. I'm exhausted though. It is four o'clock. I have been going nonstop and I'm really happy. We're in that weird stage of lighting right now. So yeah, um, things that I'm still thinking about. For tomorrow, I'm thinking like, what do I want happening in this area? I'm kind of going to zone it tomorrow. I need to think about this area, the coffee table. Um, this, I actually threw this together last week and I'm actually fine with it. I just like laid some bells there. I don't want to overdo it. And then I have like cute trees down there. I'm feeling good about that. Um, I love, I love this entryway. Other things I'm thinking about is bar area. This is going to be a different setup. Those candlesticks are actually for a different vignette that I have envisioned. I don't know what we're doing on the buffet yet. The other thing I need to think about tomorrow is styling these open shelves in our pantry area. Pantry is done. I never do too much. Oh, just look at it. It looks so good. And what a cute little area for guests if they go in to grab something for breakfast or a snack to have this feel festive as well. And then the island, I'm waiting for a big piece to come for that. And that's what those candlesticks on the dining room table are for. Above the stove, I want to think about. But right now I just threw some trees in there just to fill the space and get them off the dining room table. So that's where we're at after day one. I'm really happy. I love standing right here where I can see this tree and then look in and see that dining room tree. Those trees just feel like they go together so well this year. I'm, I'm thrilled. So I'm going to relax a little bit and chill out, watch a little project runway and maybe pour myself a glass of wine. Steven is working on dinner and I just got one of the deliveries I was waiting for from a floral. So this is a pine garland that I'm really excited about. Oh, <laughs> no one was shot, I promise. Um, but it's a pine garland that I'm excited to look at. So let me get the big light on and then let's look at one of these and see how it looks. Oh, it's so pretty and drapey. Look at that. Now, I think it's a little thin. It feels a little thin. However, it's so realistic. I think once you get it like loosened up a bit, it'll widen out. But I think for what I want to use it for, it might be perfect. Morning, friends. Happy Sunday. Day two of Decorate With Me. And I'm kind of torn right now um, of a couple things that I'm thinking. But I did decorate one more thing and I didn't film it because I didn't plan on decorating it. Um, but it's my kitchen window over the sink. So let me show you what I did last night. So I ended up taking two of those a floral garlands that got delivered. I 
wired two pieces together, one going in each direction, and I hung it over my kitchen window with two sets of these bells from Amazon. I'm gonna leave them linked. I've linked them before, a couple weeks ago. Hopefully they're still available. They were really reasonable and the quality is pretty great. And I just love the way that looks. But now I'm in a bit of conundrum. So I'm thinking or wondering, do I do the same thing over the sink. I think it could look really cool. Because I still have, I think, four of these. Yes, I still have four. Or do I use them to start going up the staircase? Or do, I don't know. I think if that was on the staircase, I think it might get too busy there. Because you're gonna have the garland right here, the tree and the mantle. I might just let my staircase plain this year. And if I change my mind, I can always add a live garland. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I might ask you guys over on Instagram at a more reasonable hour of the day what to do. I wonder how long, because I know my window is wider then the hood, those might actually hang down way too low. Yeah, they might actually hang down way too low. Let me see where one falls. Well, I tried it and I don't know what I was thinking. It doesn't make sense because to swoop something here, you block the shelf. That just doesn't seem to make any logic. So what I ended up doing is draping it over there. I actually think that kind of works beautifully. Yeah, I actually like that. All right, I'm gonna live with that and see how I feel. But, possible, good start. All right, friends, it is 7.30. Steven is up, he actually Ram Bub is out for a quick walk. He is at a mock trial all day, so he is going to be leaving shortly and gone the whole day, which might have been planned so he could avoid the decorating. Um, I brought up, I think, everything I'm going to use for the house, um, downstairs and upstairs. Now, will I probably pick a few more things up? Yes, but I wanna show you what I'm working with. The first thing I'm going to have to do is get all of this stuff out of the boxes so I can see what I'm working with and then make some decisions. So I'm actually just going to fill up the island with everything that I carried up and figure out what I wanna use, what I don't wanna use, and then make a game plan. All right, so I set everything out on the island that I'm considering this year. So I have some trees from McGee & Co. I love these. Um, yeah, they're beautiful. These were from, I think, Threshold last year at Target. These were from Studio McGee last year. I like these in my office. This llama snow globe has been with us since like our first house in New York, so I always put it out somewhere. I also always set up this copy of A Christmas Carol. So many of you guys have shared the bell candles from Pottery Barn this year. They were actually available last year and I had already bought both of them. So I have those. Um, these wooden trees I picked up last year at the dollar spot at Target, these deer. These bells I got from Nordstrom at the end of the season. They're fine. I don't really love the color of them. I much prefer these ones from Amazon that were actually cheaper. Then this really neutral nutcracker. I ended up not using it last year even though I did a lot of nutcrackers around the house. Um, that wood snowflake, I love these wreaths that I bought from Ballard Design at the end of the season. I paid $12 a piece for these because they were on sale. Um, and then these are electric tapers. I was just seeing if they fit, they fit perfectly. Then I have some more trees here. I think I picked these up during Vlogmas somewhere, like at a little small shop. They're a perfect theme. I think when I picked them up, I said, these are kind of the colors I'm going with for next year. That little star lantern that I love. This board from Hearth and Hand. 
had these little trees here that I kind of love. Some more bells, just a lot of stuff. Um, I probably will not use all of this, but. Oh, 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 oh. Look what I found. These will be making appearances during Vlogmas. Um, yeah, so I have a bunch of things. These are the most beautiful bells I've bought. These were from McGee & Co. Look at those. They're beautiful. So I'm not sure what will get used. Oh, 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 the other thing, and I think you'll remember because I don't think they got delivered until Vlogmas. I have these deer ornaments from Grandin Road. I paid a fortune for them and I forgot that I had them. I was wondering how they would look on the tree. I might just play with a few here and let's take a look. That's what I'm gonna do first. We have the fire going. Steven left while I was unpacking. Bubby is back from his walk and he is chilling. I'm gonna put a couple of these on and see what I think. I really like them in the tree. I think they pick up on the brown color. I put six on this tree. So there's one, two, three, and then there's some around this side of the tree. One poking out there. They look really great. I think they add like to that woodland feel that we have going on. And then I did put the other three nestled here, here, and over there on that tree. So it still stays really cohesive. Friends, I'm like feeling a little uninspired right now. Like I don't know where I wanna start, what I wanna do. I'm just feeling a little meh. So yeah. And that's okay, we'll get there. I think I'm just going to play around and then show you guys where I land with a couple spaces because it's really hard to think clearly around decisions I wanna make then while filming. Filming doubles or triples the time it would normally take me to decorate. So I just wanna be able to play around a little bit and then kind of talk you through and then share my thought process as how I did it, what things I use behind the scenes to make it work. That does best for me. I think I come up with my best work. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blast Kelly Clarkson's new Christmas album, sing, dance, and see what I come up with and try to get motivated to get the uh, layout happening. So I needed that moment and now I'm feeling so much more inspired and better. So I did the open shelves across from my pantry and this is what I came up with. So I took the terracotta pitcher that was there, but I know I need height at that top. So I used that neutral nutcracker. I used one of my A floral garlands that got delivered last night and I draped it down. Normally I have a fake Spanish moss that's right here and super long. When you use greenery to kind of connect the shelves together and break that plane between the shelves, it's really helpful. It also makes them feel really connected and cohesive. So I started the garland on the third shelf, pulled a little bit of it onto the second shelf, and then brought it down through my canisters on this third shelf, and then added a cluster of bells hanging, and then I didn't really change out anything else. I added these two gold reindeer in, but the only thing that moved off the shelf was the nutcracker and the Spanish moss that was in that pot that usually drapes down this side. That's done and it feels really good. I feel like it connects nicely over into this space. Okay, feeling, feeling better, feeling a little bit more motivated. Toying with these wreaths, I kind of want them up in these windows but I don't know, first of all, don't judge my windows. I literally just cleaned them and they already look dirty. I feel like I could clean my windows every two weeks and they'd still look dirty. It's something about the way water and wind blow when it's raining that makes these back ones so hard to keep clean. But what I was thinking is I would love to hang these in the window but if I hang them up on the molding, they're going to be too high. I don't know. I'm gonna have to play with that because I'm not sure what I wanna do. 
All right, coffee station is staying pretty simple. I added a bunch of wooden trees in here that are all my colors that I bought at the Target dollar spot last year, but styled in there, the wallpaper in the background, all the natural colors, like literally I'm not changing anything. Over in our mud room, I grabbed another one of those garlands, draped it over this mirror, threw some bells on the corner, literally took me about 15 seconds to do. Then I have this hearth in hand, wreath from many years ago, but I have these McGee & Co. bells and I love them like spilling out of this bowl, but I think to make it look really great, I want this one to be kind of up, or at least this to look like it's bound in there. It's hard to do both. I'll introduce you to one of my favorite tricks and it's mounting tape and it comes off with just the hair dryer it's how i do everything on the back of my range i used to use the black gorilla tape this is essentially the same thing only in clear i'll leave it linked down below i love this stuff for tile i wouldn't put this on like a painted wall but i'm going to add a strip to the inside of my bowl and see if i can get that bell to kind of like look more like it's spilling out and it did the trick friends Look how now it's hanging out. I just literally stuck a piece on the inside, put the rope down to it. It is the best stuff on the planet. Now those bells look like they're spilling out. I needed one more thing there and that was it. It's so beautiful and it just feels really connected and cohesive. In all honesty, I need to figure out my console table right here. I have those two bells that are always there. Like those are inspiration. Those bells have been there for over a year. And then I need to figure out my coffee table. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do much more. All right. Okay, let me see I still have to go upstairs, set a couple things out, but right now I'm feeling pretty solid. All right, friends, it is a little after nine and I'm kind of at a standstill with where I'm at. I'm gonna show you, I'm really happy with what I have, but in all honesty, I just don't wanna do a ton of decorating this year. Although I've done a lot, <laughs> so let's not get wild and crazy, but I've done a lot. So I'll kind of show you some things that I've done here on the first floor and I'm actually pretty content with it. And if I find some things that I really like, maybe I'll add to it a little bit. In my little Peloton room, I just added these snowmen and this little snow globe. I also have all my towels from the week that need to get rolled up there. I just like having something a little festive to look at. I already talked you through this mud room. In the powder room here, I, Ended up just adding another one of my garlands from a floral. I love how this looks. A premium flameless candle from Pottery Barn, that little countdown that I got a few years ago. And that's it, those little antique brass pieces are always there. So I'm happy with that. I am going to like script something cute on this paper. And then you guys saw how the bells turned out. I am going to print out a painting of a winter scene and put it there so that will feel really nice. Three little trees that I bought, those are all from, oh goodness, where did I get those from? I think they're from McGee & Co actually. And then this little measuring cup set from Anthropology. I love how the kitchen feels. Like I said, I can't do the island yet, I'm still waiting for something. So like, there will be something dramatic and great there. Then over here, I just have that little star and more of those trees. Put the bells over there. Not so sure what's gonna happen in that section of the house yet. Um, did this shelf. And then you guys have kind of seen the rest throughout the week. I still need to figure out, like I said, this table and this area. I don't think those trees are gonna stay there. I need to figure out this, although it's going to stay super minimal, but yeah, I'm actually really happy with this. It feels very minimal. Yeah, I'm content. I'm content. It's actually almost exactly where I want it to be. I got cleaned up. I have run no errands yet today, so that's what I'm going to do. I have on just like a long sleeve shirt that I picked up at Target. 
but I'm wearing my Allbirds. I'm telling you friends, best fall sneaker, well, all year round. They're so comfortable. I have a link down below for you. They sent me my pair. Go check them out. They make great gifts. They're so good. Bubba knows I'm about to leave and he wants no part of it, but I have to go get some stuff. All right, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, I am back from Target. I think I possibly have an idea for the coffee table. I'm gonna spin you around so you can see what I picked up. One thing I'm thinking oh, for this section of the house, if I just switch out these pillows for these little Noel ones, I think that's super cute. Yes, I love that. All right, those will have to go down in the basement for now. That's super adorable. I love those. Those are from Studio McGee's Christmas line. And then I am thinking a couple things possibly for the table. So let's move these. Let me get this wiped off. Those books are dusty. And I'm thinking of playing with these cake pedestals. I'll show you what I'm thinking in a minute. I kind of love what's happening here. I don't love the two shades of wood. Call me crazy, but I'm actually thinking of possibly spray painting those matte black. because I actually don't mind. And then when there's some live greenery, I'll put like some greenery around that. I am not mad. All right, I think I'm going to mess with this. I'm gonna actually take a picture though so I remember how I arranged the petals. <laughs> Painting those was the right call. Once my local greenhouse starts getting their greens in, I'm gonna do like a greens arrangement through the pedestals probably have an arrangement on that stack of books. But right now, I'm really happy with the way that looks. I added this flameless candle here, so really like this vibe. I actually really love how simplistic this is. So I moved my wooden chain in there, and then I did a basket of pine cones and just added some bells in there. There's that cluster of trees in front of that painting and then I put some bells in that jar. I really think I'm gonna leave it that simplistic. Once again, once my greenhouse starts getting greens, I might do some greens in that, but other than that, I think it's pretty well set. I'm thrilled. Couple other things. I don't remember if I shared this. When I'm editing, I'll realize it, if I did or not. But I had some feelings about these greens so I went ahead and added some leaves into it because I want it to be cohesive. I think I showed you I ended up adding leaves into this top one as well. The difference it makes it brings that brown in and then lastly I added hold on let me get the big lights on. I added leaves into this one. Also, could we talk about how cute this bowl is? Look at this bowl from Target. It was $15. It's so cute for popcorn and stuff. And then I added some leaves nestled into that. Look, that's still holding. I'm telling you, that stuff is a dream. It's like a home decor person's best friend. It's linked below that clear tape. And then I did end up adding greens as well. I mean, adding leaves into that mirror. It just adds a different texture. It brings in the brown here as well. And then on this shelf, I added the greens. Why do I keep saying greens? I mean to say leaves. But I am thrilled with how all of this has turned out. I just think it's so beautiful and clean. I'm really, really happy with it. Couple things I'm still thinking about is the island. I have an option coming. I'm gonna see if I like it or not. 
If I don't like it there, it could possibly work on the dining room table. So we'll have to play around with that. Right now, that is not the setup for the dining room table at all, but it's what's going on currently. I also still have to get a blanket in that tree skirt there. So, overall though, it's so good. I hope that this video has brought some ideas to you. Now, am I completely done? Could this evolve? Absolutely, and I will take you on for the ride. But this is kind of where we're landing as we start the 2021 holiday season. I will link everything I possibly can for you. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what tips or tricks you learned or ideas I shared that you're going to try to implement. Follow me on Instagram, tag me, share, share, share. I am so grateful for all of you. I can't wait to share all that I have planned. In the meantime, I'll end this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others. Be kind, kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, which will be soon. Bye-bye.